All right, today I am here with my brand new SIBO D4 air belt or air belt D4, whatever you'd like to call it. This is an Onyx model. And this vacuum, um, I just purchased at a vacuum dealer here um, on one of my travel assignments. And I really wanted to do an unboxing video because first somebody requested it. Now I did already open the top of the machine just so I could pull the hose through because I wanted to make sure that this did in fact have the um, brush roll on off control, which is a new feature, I believe for this year or last year that SIBO is putting on their canisters, some of their canisters at least, and the D4 happens to be one of them. It may be all of their um, power nozzle capable canisters, but that's the reason why the top of the box is open. So here is the owner's manual. Um, it even shows on the photo for the owner's manual that um, this, it shows in the picture that it has that updated um, fingertip control for the brush roll on off. And also I've noticed over the years, and correct me if I'm wrong, but these SIBOs now, they used to have more of like a partial plastic and partial metal construction for the wand. But I've seen more recent videos that some do and then um, for the older models and then some of the newer ones have the all um, steel style wand. So this upper portion used to be a um, plastic, almost kind of reminded me of like an Electrolux, the old style, like classic Electrolux look. Um, so... Here's this. Uh, they did give me the extended warranty um, sticker. It had a sticker on it. Um, they didn't say what to do or if I had to do anything with it. They didn't even tell me that this one came with that. I, I had a feeling, but um, they didn't mention it to me because when I was at the dealership, basically how it all went down was they already had a customer in there, an older lady who didn't bring her um, part number for like a HEPA filter. I'm gonna set this down for a HEPA filter. So they're helping her out. And I walked in the store, nobody greeted me, um, but they were very nice people at the end. Or uh, like, they were very nice people. They were just servicing somebody that was kind of already taking up some of their time. Side note, this comes out, this pops out, so you can put your hand in here to carry the vacuum um, from the actual canister's handle, which was kind of cool. It even shows you here on the box. Oh, you can't see. In that upper left corner, or the upper right corner, it'll show you where you can um, punch this perforation out to be able to grab the canister um, by the handle here. So anyway, um... They were very nice, but they had a young girl working in there. I think it was like a younger or to middle-aged couple that probably owned the store. And they both, or the it looked like the mom was there and then the daughter. And I told her, you know, well, what's the real difference? Because I kind of wanted them to tell me, like, what do they sell more of and do you even think that the SIBO D4 is um, worth the extra money? And she said, honestly, the primary differences are the cord length, which I knew, the larger bag on the canister, which I knew. And she also said it had the swivel hose at the um, canister end as well. She kept it very concise and simple. And honestly, all the things that she brought up really are the primary differences of this machine versus, um, let's say, an E3. I gotta set this down. So. She was not wrong in that sense.
And she was very nice. So I told her I'm just going to take the D4 because I told them that I had a K3. I didn't tell them, you know, full detail about everything, but um, very nice people. And the owner was like, you know, you're really going to like this. She's like, we love SIBO vacuums here. They're one of the best. Um, they, they weren't pushy at all. They did not have like old school sales tactics. I know that there's a fair amount of collectors. I'm going to have to put this down again. I'm sorry. There are a fair amount of collectors out there that also happen to kind of be in the dealer realm. Ta-da. Look at that beauty. No scratches. The dealer realm. And... That's fine and all, but I do think in a way, that's kind of neat. The swivel is actually built into the canister itself. It's not the hose. Usually it's the actual hose itself that swivels, not the portion on the canister. So they didn't use like old school sales tactics with me. Now, listening to people talk about, oh, this is a big vacuum. Honestly, it's not that big. It's not that big. I mean, this is one of my shoes. So it's not that big. It's large, but it's about the same size as like a Kenmore canister. So we've got our tools here on the back, our cord rewind, the beautiful air belt. We've got a bag installed, which is always good. Our filter is installed, which is also very good. This also has like a very um, light clasp to it. So here is the tapered hose. That's just gonna lock in like so. <laughs> Now, I've never really been a fan of the ET1, which I know is, like, terrible to say in these, in anywhere because, but people like it because of its utility, because of its durability, the fact that you can, you know, um, service it really easily and um, take the brush roll out and yada yada. Anytime that a brush roll is removable, I already know that it doesn't spin very fast because of how it's going to be mounted. Let me see here. The other thing that I saw, I'm sorry about being so choppy with this video's um, quality here, but I already really like the handle on the um, cleaner head, or the, the wand, yeah. a lot, it feels very secure, and it also stands up very, um, well, it did there for a second, it has, like, a nice heft to it, um, and the handle's pretty comfy as well, I'm gonna plop that up there, It's definitely a stately type vacuum to me. This is like a Volvo wagon. I mean, it's just like one of those machines. Oh, and the cord rewind is so smooth. That's really nice. Not going to lie about that. But I I know a lot of people are like uber fans of the um, ET1. And if you've seen some of my videos in the past, I'm not the hugest fan um, of the ET1. It is definitely very quiet. And smooth. So let's power this puppy up. Let's 
So this is already performing a lot better than I remember the ET1 performing in the past. I've got it set on a two. The light is agreeing with me. It does sound like it's got a little bit of like some leaks maybe at the connections. It's doing an excellent job. Look at that. That did a very good job. Look at the, the pile difference. I am pleasantly surprised, I'm not gonna lie. I was really nervous, but I talked myself back in to get trying a SIBO again because I said to myself, you know, they're supposed to be really good vacuums and they're supposed to have very good suction. This thing's very quiet. It really lofted the carpet up well. I am very pleasantly surprised with this canister. Um, and just from initial impressions, I think that it did a really good job. It really groomed the carpet well. Um, as you can see now, I did just shampoo this like a week ago, so it's still you know, looking semi good, but this is an old carpet for an area rug that was cheap. And I think that this thing did a really good job. I really do. Let's tr see that. Yep. We got some stuff in the bag already. Very, very impressed. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned.